All right, how's it going, Rams Life? My name is Alex. I'm a sophomore studying zoology and minoring in conservation biology, and that's actually what I wanted to talk about today. Um, I am in the Natural Resources Building. It is a pretty nice view from up here. I wanted to respond to this comment right here, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what the conservation biology minor is to me and what conservation biology is in general because when I came to college I know that I didn't even know what this was and once I heard about it I automatically made it my minor. Currently considering double majoring in it uh, with zoology but I didn't know the differences between conservation biology and zoology and I think it would be very helpful if there was a video like this out there for someone that likes animals. Alright so Colorado State University offers this major it's called fish wildlife and conservation biology and basically uh, the school's definition is uh, the major is intended for students interested in understanding wildlife and the habitats in which they live. They offer three concentrations uh, conservation biology, fisheries and aquatic sciences, and wildlife biology. And then they give another, like student goals and demonstrates, a mastery of ecological concepts and fundamental principles and techniques to manage and conserve fish and wildlife populations. It is very much focused on managing wildlife populations, while zoology is focused on the anatomy, physiology, how the actual animal works. And while that does play a role in conservation biology, conservation biology is mainly focused on the ecology and the human and wildlife interactions and stuff like that. And as for my minor at least, even my minor can get very specified. It's a very broad field, so I can take large mammal conservation, or you can take fishery management, aquatic management, very broad field. But it's basically for the people that um, are interested in the management of wildlife populations. I was interested in it personally because, like I said in previous videos with zoology, I do love animals and I do want to help them. Um, I'm not sure what it, yet what I'm doing after college, whether I want to research them um, or I want to help conserve. Um, and while those two things can really go together because cons conservation requires a lot of research, I don't know if I want to actually study their anatomy, some sort of aspect with them. So I'm keeping the zoology degree, but I wanted to give you guys some more insight on what conservation biology is. Here's what the school has in the Natural Resources Building on conservation biology. This is a very broad, broad view of it. But. So I'm gonna go through a couple of my classes that I've been taking. I've taken four or five four or five classes for my minor already. We've had guest speakers in classes that actually work with CPW, Colorado uh, Parks and Wildlife. We have other guest speakers that have done their doctorates in, or their doctorate studies uh, in uh, Durango, Colorado. Actually, one of my professors works in um, Africa with elephants and manages them and in their interactions with humans. I can tell you from my experience, I am in a few classes right now that I have had to take. You learn a whole lot about the issues facing uh, the human population anywhere from overpopulation to food waste to things like that. I can only speak from my sense of my minor. Um, so currently I'm in wildlife management classes and biological diversity classes. It's very heavily focused on reading scientific material, journal articles from previous studies, from previous professors. Some of them work here even. You're basically reading them, critiquing them, um, learning from them in order to prepare yourself for a, a career in which you might be writing a lot of grants. When I say fish, wildlife, and conservation biology, some people tend to think that it is hands-on with animals the whole time. That is more of a zoology-based approach um, with dissecting. I've dissected dozens of animals in the zoology um, department in the past couple years, and I will probably do a lot more. I have some stuff here because I'm in the natural resources building right now and I'm just here studying for the exam next week. So we have a whole PowerPoint on wildlife agencies, a whole PowerPoint on wildlife funding, where the actual sources of wildlife funding comes from that we need to know. And then we have management approaches, so the role of science that it plays in management, things like that. We talk about ethics a lot in the class. That conservation biology is really focused on the working with people side aspect of it too, because nothing really gets done without environmental lawyers, litigation, things like that and it all plays into a role of our belief system, our ethics and stuff like that. Conservation biology is a huge field. Uh, it's definitely up and coming as uh, human population keeps growing. There's going to be more and more wildlife interactions and people are going to need management in order to figure out the correct decision or the correct path to make to manage those wildlife populations. So I hope this gave you guys a better idea of what conservation biology is um, and I will see you next week. Take care.